Hi, I'm Kathy Cruz. I'm a retail coach, a retail store owner, and host of the Savvy Shopkeeper Retail Podcast. I personally know how busy shopkeepers are, so I like to keep podcast episodes short and sweet. These bite-sized podcast episodes, though, they're full of value because I want to help you work less, profit more, and grow your business. This short video introduction is going to be followed by a podcast episode, so feel free to multitask, especially if you have your AirPods in, but sometimes you're going to want to take notes. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so you get notified every time I publish a new podcast episode or a new video. Thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Independent retail business can mean so many things these days. A brick and mortar store, an e-commerce business, a maker's online shop, a booth at an antique mall, and more. No matter which category you're in, Kathy Cruz, a fellow retail business owner and retail educator, will teach you how to market and manage your business efficiently so you can spend time doing other things you love. Welcome to the Savvy Shopkeeper Podcast. Welcome to episode 83 of the Savvy Shopkeeper Retail Podcast, the 2021 Savvy Shopkeeper Retreat, and a new, I guess I could say, book announcement. I'm your host, Kathy Cruz. So my intention for this episode is to give you details about the upcoming Savvy Shopkeeper Retreat in case you haven't heard about it or in case you want to know more of the details. And I'm sharing this episode now because ticket sales will close on Monday, August 2nd, 2021 at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yes, if this podcast episode, if all goes well and it publishes on Thursday, July 29th, That means there are four days until ticket sales close. And I want to share a little bit of news with you, which is also part of the upcoming retreat. So the retreat, this is the first ever Savvy Shopkeeper retreat, in case you didn't know. It will be on Sunday, September 12th and Monday, September 13th, 2021. Sunday and Monday, because lots of retailers and not everyone, but lots of retailers are closed those days. So I'm trying to make make it accommodating for the people attending. And although I try not to publish too many episodes that are time sensitive, there's just way too much information about this retreat to share in an email or even in two emails. And this is the best and easiest way I can communicate with so many of you. So here I am. So we're just going to dive right in. First, we're going to talk about the venue. Could I have chosen a venue in my area, which is Northeast Ohio? I'm in the Cleveland, Ohio area. Yes, for sure I could have. Would that have been selfishly easier for me logistically? Yeah, probably, but maybe not. And I'll share a little bit more about that towards the end of this episode. But I want to share why I chose Fruchthaven Farm in Greenville, Michigan. The property is actually owned by a master shopkeeper group member. April Peterson and her husband, and it's incredible. The whole property is incredible. The farm is so many things. It's a boutique shop. It's the the boutique, the gift shop, apparel, all the things that, that April sells in Pink and Frillo's. That's the name of her boutique store. The farm is also an apple orchard. It's a cidery. It's a coffee shop but probably the one of the most branded and cool coffee shops you've ever been in. It's an event venue where they host lots of weddings. This is, I think, their first wedding season, and I see lots of weddings happening there. And they host them in an event under a beautiful event tent on the property or in two of their 100-year-old barns. They make and sell donuts. They have a farm-fresh market an indoor kind of marketplace where they sell food. And I'm sure there's more, but I haven't seen a lot of the updates. I went to the farm last year. This is kind of where we sparked the idea of hosting there. But I'll be stopping by the farm before this episode publishes. So I'll be stopping there to get an updated tour and lay of the land, and I can't wait. So if you don't already follow Fruchthaven Farm, it's F as in Frank, R-U-G-T-H-A-V-E-N, Fruchthaven Farm, go follow them now. Just, I mean, just for pure delight and pleasure. 
Overall, with the, all of the, the businesses that they have on the property, they have three Instagram accounts. So they have Fruktaven Farm, Pink and Frillo's, and Occasions at Fruktaven. That's more, those are more posts related to all of the events and weddings that they host on the farm. We'll have all of this linked in the show notes. But the best part is that whoever attends this retreat All of us will be all over the farm during this event, during these two days. And I can go on and on. Just go follow them and you'll see why I'm so excited that we will be taking over this farm property. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't put it it that way. I might be scaring April. But I am honored that April agreed to have us there. And I seriously can't wait. Shopkeepers across the country are expanding and opening up new locations by partnering with Honeycomb. Forward-thinking entrepreneurs like you that created your business for your consumers are unlocking much-needed funding by allowing your community and superfans to invest directly into your growth. To learn more about how community capital can help you open your next location while embracing your ability to market your brand and increase consumer engagement, Visit honeycombcredit.com slash brand. That's honeycombcredit.com slash brand. Okay, so let's talk about the retreat itinerary. This was really vague, actually, when I first posted the retreat landing page on my website. So I'm flattered that so many of you purchased tickets not knowing exactly what the itinerary would be. That means you have faith in me and I really appreciate it. But I want you to know the itinerary is more detailed now and it's really intentional. It's a very intentional two-day retreat. Knowing how much and how hard all of us shopkeepers work, I wanted to create two full days where once you arrive at the farm, You don't really have to figure anything else out. You don't have to bring anything. You don't have to figure out where to go to lunch. What are you going to have for lunch? Where are you going to park for lunch? Where are you going to drive to for lunch? You don't have to worry about timing or finding your next session. Yeah, we'll be navigating the farm property, but you don't have to hop in your car. You don't have to figure out where to go. We're going to make that really easy for you, or at least I hope we will. The next thing I want to mention, and my sister would laugh if she heard me, and I talk about this all the time, but you won't go hungry. The plan is to have food and beverages served throughout each day. Breakfast, snacks, lunch, beverages. And I'm hoping you just really don't have to worry about any other detail. We have it all covered. You'll be able to park your car at the farm if you're driving, or you can walk over from the hotel, which I'll talk about in a minute, If you're staying at the American, it's less than a mile away. If you're comfortable walking, you can walk. And if you want to drive, it's a very short drive. Again, I just want to stress that we're trying to cover all of the details for you. You don't have to run around like a chicken with your head cut off. (laughs) Unless you're trying to get all the parts of the farm in. I feel like we already do enough of that running our businesses. So I wanted to intentionally slow this retreat down. There's time to connect. There's plenty of photo opportunities because the farm property is gorgeous. We'll also have, I think, an hour and a half time blocked on day two where we'll go outside to the grain bins and we'll take pictures and we're going to do a group picture. Of course, weather permitting, fingers crossed, but that's part of the itinerary. And even with all of that, there's also plenty of time to learn. I'll be teaching four educational sessions, and we'll also have breakout sessions. So each attendee will receive a program book, and you can take notes, and of course there'll be other helpful information in there, including a map of the property. All four of my presentations, I made sure that they applied to all kinds of retailers. And yes, we have both brick-and-mortar store owners who have registered to attend, and makers and artists with online shops who are also planning to attend. So there's all kinds of retailers. And then all four presentations will address some of the things I get asked for the most. And here they are. Not in any particular order. I don't think this is the order that I'm going to be teaching them them in at the retreat. But the first one is systems and processes. 
This is probably, oh man, I think it's the number one thing that people ask me about. So I'm going to teach you how to unclutter your brains and businesses by showing you the process I use so you can start creating systems and processes around your business to make it run more smoothly and run more efficiently. The next presentation that I plan on doing is about calendar blocking, and this is for time management. I've taught multiple clients how to time block, and I'm happy to say with success. Is it perfect when we do this? No. Does it take time to implement? And and you'll tweak it, yes, for sure. But what I teach is that you don't need more hours in a day. What you need to do is learn to respect and value time. It's something I had to do. So that's not me judging you. I had to learn that too. And then you'll start shifting the way your brain thinks about all of it, time in particular, and you'll find that it is possible to do it all in 24 hours a day. The next presentation I plan on doing is teaching you how to grow your business. There are some really important key pieces of information in your business that if you identify them, they can help you grow. You just need to know where to look and how to follow the data. And that's what that presentation will do. So some of the important pieces of information if you want to bring with you is your profit and loss statement or maybe some um, inventory management information. But I will give a lot of examples in all of these presentations because people often tell me, that the examples really help them learn and understand. And then the last one, but not the least one, is a presentation about marketing our businesses. By the time the retreat is here in September, I'm hoping I will have published a new digital book titled How to Get Your Retail Business Noticed. All retreat attendees will not only receive the digital version of the book, but I'm also going to provide them with a printed copy of the book. And I just want to say, I guess this is my announcement about the book. It's not a paperback book. I'm not going to be a published author per se, but I am excited about it because the book is a culmination of four years, I think, four years of information that I've been storing in a Trello board. And you all know how much I love Trello. We will link that tool in the show notes. But yeah, I think it's been four years. And what I've learned is I make a lot of promises about upcoming lessons, podcast episodes, master classes, and master shopkeepers. And I don't always turn those around quickly, but I try to be a woman of my word. And when I say I'm going to do something, I do it. It might take me six months or a year. And I realized why. I think it's really important that I don't need it to be perfect, but I need it to make sense for all of you. I need to make sure that it teaches you the lesson in a really easy, simple way or that it it provides value. That's really important to me. So I originally thought this would be a course, but every time I tried to work on it, it just didn't come to life. Like it just didn't make sense. And then I think maybe two months ago when I started really planning the retreat, I realized that this would make much more sense as a digital book. Retailers will be able to use this resource year after year or multiple times throughout the year. You're going to be able to reference it all the time. So I'm really excited about publishing it. And I just want you to know that it wasn't something impulsive or something that I put put together quickly. I put a lot of time and thought into this. And not only that, if many of the people know from Savvy Shopkeepers, when I had the free group and I was about to launch the Shopkeepers Academy, I had a small focus group and I promised them that I would give them lifetime access to the Shopkeepers Lab if they took this like I guess, market research journey with me or focus group journey with me. And I stayed true to my word. I have, I think, four or five lifetime members in the lab because I would present them with information or my ideas and they would give me feedback. And I'm doing the same thing with this digital book because, again, it's really important to me that it's valuable, that if you invest in something that I offer, you get value out of it. So thank you to those members 
who are taking that journey with me and giving me some really excellent feedback so I can make it the best book I can. Again, I'm sure it won't be perfect. I'm sure over the next year, I'll probably update it, tweak it, but I really think it's going to be good to start. Okay, so let's talk about some other retreat details. You'll find hotel, airport, and other travel accommodation information on the retreat page of my website. So that's SavvyShopkeeper.com forward slash retreat. Again, that will be linked in the show notes. The closest hotel is the American, and that's in Greenville, same city as the farm, and it is less than a mile away. Like I mentioned earlier, if, you like, if you're like me and you like to walk, you can walk, but if you want to hop in your car and drive over, it's going to be easy. There's going to be parking, and I do recommend staying there if they have rooms available just because it's so nice and close. We do have another hotel with blocked rooms. It's maybe a 20-minute, 15, 20-minute drive. And the rooms at American are limited. So make sure if you grab a ticket and you need hotel accommodations, grab the American room if you can. Okay, we have over 30 savvy shopkeepers traveling from all over the United States. They're coming from the West Coast, the East Coast, and then everywhere in between. It's kind of cool to see. We have husbands attending with their wives. We have biz besties attending together. So yes, this retreat is going to be quaint. And that's exactly what I wanted. It's going to be intimate. And almost all of the people that purchased tickets so far also purchased tickets to the VIP dinner. I would say 27 of them have purchased the VIP dinner. That's going to be held in the event tent on the farm property. And I'm really excited because it's going to be very special. I'm going to interview April that night at the dinner event because I'm sure so many people will have questions about her I don't, her and her husband's leap of faith into buying this property at an auction and making it what it's become. So she's going to answer all of those questions for me and for all of you. We're going to have a delicious meal catered by the head chef and owner of Clifford Lake Inn. And we're going to have live music by indie pop duo Flynn. We'll have their websites linked in the show notes too. But every time I even think about this whole entire retreat or the VIP dinner event, I get goosebumps. I get really excited. I'm so excited to announce that Tundra is the official signature sponsor of the 2021 Savvy Shopkeeper Retreat. Tundra is an online wholesale marketplace for retailers and suppliers. What I really like about Tundra is that they eliminate transaction fees and markups. As a result, Tundra empowers us, both buyers and suppliers, to keep reinvesting in ourselves. As a store owner myself, I appreciate that ordering from Tundra keeps my store fresh with new, novel, and seasonal products. And if you didn't know, Tundra also offers a pro membership, so you save even more with free shipping site-wide. Ordering on Tundra saves us, retailers, time, We have one wholesale account to access thousands of brands and more than 1 million products. I'd like to give a special thank you to Tundra for sponsoring the Savvy Shopkeeper Retreat, an educational experience retailers won't forget in 2021. To learn more about Tundra, visit SavvyShopkeeper.com forward slash Tundra. That's T like Tom, U-N-D-R-A. And to learn more about the upcoming retreat, Visit SavvyShopkeeper.com forward slash retreat. Another thing that I want to mention is I recently announced that we have scholarship winners. So if you don't know, there is a giving aspect to Savvy Shopkeeper. I give 5% of all revenue from group memberships to the Savvy Support Fund. We also have people that donate to the fund on occasion, I think a few times a year. And through that fund, we were able to give away two scholarships this year. To paid group members, we gave a full retreat scholarship to Master Shopkeeper member Lisa. She owns Rusty and Joel. And we also gave away a full VIP ticket scholarship to a lab member, Lisa of Bride and Baker Designs. I just announced those winners, I think, last week. And they're so excited to attend. And I love that we could get more, more shopkeepers to this retreat. Another thing I want to mention is that if you want a quiet morning on the farm with some time to refresh your brain and body, 
We also have a yoga instructor from Aptitude Rock. She's coming to teach an early Monday morning yoga class. We'll link everyone's websites in the show notes. There are so many other others to credit for bringing this retreat together. In particular, I want to mention Fruktaven's event planner, Kristen. I can't thank her enough for everything she's done for this event. She understood the vision for this retreat from the beginning, and I'm sure April helped her with this, but Kristen deserves a ton of credit for how it's all coming together so far. And then we'll also be sure to link all of the other service providers in the show notes because there's a florist, there's a photographer, there's a videographer. I mean, there are other people to mention. I just can't cover it all today. I just want you to know there's so much thought and planning going into this retreat. And then lastly, I want to mention the swag bags. Thanks to Tundra, they're sponsoring this event. They are the signature sponsor for this retreat. We're able to get custom swag bags designed. Another thing I'm really excited about. I know it's a small detail, but I want to make sure that everyone feels, I don't know, spoiled, I guess, that goes to this. And on top of Tundra sponsoring the event, I want to add that several of our group members who also make their own products really stepped up and they're providing products for the swag bags. So not only will you get the custom design bag, you'll also get special offers and discounts from some of the brands I've worked with, and you'll also get quite a few handmade items by our own group members. I will be sure to give all of them credit in a future podcast episode, but I don't want to reveal what's going to be in the bag quite yet. I want that to be a surprise. My point here is that the swag bag is going to be awesome. Okay, so I covered a lot, and I still feel like I haven't covered it all. I still feel like I'm missing some details. Like I said when I announced the retreat, or even when I first talked about my vision for this event, I said that this will not be your typical conference. We deserve to be pampered. We deserve to reward ourselves. We deserve to invest in ourselves. We deserve to surround ourselves with shopkeepers who align with the way we run our businesses. And equally important, we deserve to have fun. I'm really, like I can't say it enough, looking forward to seeing and hugging so many of you. To the conversations we'll have and the connections that we'll make, if you've been considering this retreat or something I described about this whole entire event struck a chord with you, I hope, I genuinely hope you'll join us. So if you want to see the show notes to this episode or find links to anything I mentioned, and we're going to have a ton linked because there's so many people involved in this retreat, you can visit my blog at SavvyShopkeeper.com forward slash episode 83. And if you want to learn more about the retreat, There are still plenty of tickets to grab. You can visit SavvyShopkeeper.com forward slash retreat. If you have any questions about the retreat, of course, feel free to DM me on Instagram. My username is at SavvyShopkeeper. So I hope you hear the excitement in my voice. I know so many of the people that already grabbed tickets can't wait for this. Until the next episode, be savvy and boss up. 